So what is hex exactly? We know how to work with basic decimal numbers. Here we have 100 numbers in columns from 00, 0 to 99. And if we wanted a short way to represent three values, each from 00, 0 to 99, we could append the three numbers. Here are some examples. The first two characters represent the first value from 0 to 99. The second two characters represent the second value from 0 to 99, and so on. But this doesn't work with RGB values, because RGB values need to represent numbers from 00, 0 to 255, not 00, 0 to 99. To represent values from 0 to 255 as two digits, let's consider another way of counting. Instead of counting to 10, which gives us 10 times 10 or 100 numbers, 0 to 99. We could instead count to 16, which gives us 16 by 16, or 256 numbers, 0, 0 to 255. Perfect! But we don't have digits beyond 0 through 9. So we'll use letters to represent the six additional numbers. A numbering system based on 16 is called hexadecimal, or just hex. Now we have a short and easy-to-parse way to describe RGB values with three concatenated numbers. Here are some examples. The first two characters represent the amount of red, the second two characters the amount of green, and the third two characters the amount of blue. But lucky for us, we don't need to understand hex to use these values. Most color tools provide them for us. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.